Okay, welcome to the inaugural uh, podcast for State Center Community College District. And uh, we're calling this Chatting with the Chancellor uh, in the Chancellor's like Corner. So I'm Chancellor uh, Dr. Paul Parnell. And fortunately for our first uh, podcast today is our student trustee, Stephen Kodur. And uh, welcome. And you represent, I know you know this, but you represent 68,000 students in our district. And so it is a, it's a real privilege for me to uh, do my first podcast with our students. Well, thank um, you. I'm excited welcome. to be here. Good. Anyway, so welcome. You do have an interesting story to tell. And, and I've heard it before, but I would love to have our listeners here uh, tell us about your road to Reedley College. And uh, we would look forward to hearing how you got here. Yeah, well, where should I start, right? I, it's, a, it's a long road, but I, uh, I originally grew up in the Bay Area. Um, which is a whole different um, area than here and I, I grew up in the East Bay and I'm the I'm originally the the oldest out of five children so and my parents had me at a very young age so I've always been working with kids because you know I, that's just what you do you're the the unofficial babysitter at that yeah. age and at the middle of my senior year my parents decided that they wanted to move me to a little town called Danuba and that's how I made my way out this way and Ever since then, right after I graduated from high school, I graduated from Dinuba High, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I started working with kids, picked up babysitting um, on the side, and then I, since my parents decided to move me in the middle of my senior year, there weren't any colleges really that were, were accepting applications. So I decided that I was gonna go to Fresno Pacific. They were, I had a pretty good, I, I went to a Dinuba Mennonite um, Brethren Church and they had a pretty good relationship. So I, I took off to Fresno Pacific, was there for two years, didn't really like college. I wasn't, it, it was my first time being out of the house and doing my own thing. So I didn't know, oh, you don't have to go to class. It's not mandated, you need to be in class. So, um, you know, decided to start working, moved around, did different jobs and, um, ended up after my two years at Fresno Pacific decided to you know go try community college instead you know maybe it's going to be a different story than than the whole university scene um, so I started at Reedley College and if you look at my first semester transcripts it's all W's all withdraws didn't really you know community college didn't really fit in so I left um, joined the workforce again decided to do a couple other things I, I went into ministry did uh, like youth groups stuff like that moved into boys and girls club um, and then I kind of went into uh, after school programs and I really liked after school programs so I started working with that and I was like you know what I need to go back so I tried uh, going back to Reedley College and that's when it finally hit me I, that second stint, I, I really enjoyed my, my time there, and it's because of me getting involved. The first time I went to Reedley College, I really didn't have um, in a, the involvement aspect in so there. So that's what I caused all the withdrawals? Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't find a real good place, you know. I, I just went, went to class, went back home, and it, it just caused, um, yeah, the withdrawals. I didn't find a place. I didn't communicate. I didn't fit in with a certain group of people or, or even with the faculty. I, I just didn't mm -hmm. find a spot. Um, and the best thing to do if you don't find a spot is just go and work. You know, you need money anyway. So that, that's what I did. But that second time is when I started fitting in. I, I've, um, I met a gentleman. I, I really love Ultimate Frisbee, as you as you know. I've seen um, you play yeah. Ultimate Frisbee. You're pretty good. I, I love <laughs> Ultimate Frisbee, and I decided one day I was like, "Hey, you know what? I I want to play Ultimate Frisbee here at Reedley College, and I wonder if there's going to be people." So started asking around, and they sent me to a guy named Jim Mulligan, and he was at the time he was working in student activities, and I went to Jim and I said, "Hey, I'm I'm interested in doing." Um, ultimate Frisbee and he, was, he sat down talked to me he was like yeah my son would be interested in playing so I started a club and after a few weeks our club was pretty big we got to you know about 20 members and that's perfect for a game of Ultimate Frisbee um, you and, played in the center of the campus and there. we played in the center of the campus right there in between the gym and the cafeteria and more people started coming out and it, it was just great and I would go back into student activities every once in a while and I would talk to Jim and he was like you know what? you should get really get involved with uh, our student government here I was like, yeah, you know, I've, I've done stuff like that before. And next thing you know, I was a senator. And I, I did senator for about a half a year. And then I ran for student body president. And I won student body president. And I, I, 
that's when I really got involved at Ridley College. I was actually part of the panel that um, uh, when Dr. Caldwell was uh, elected president, I was part of that panel there for a while. And just meeting certain people on campus um, and g developing those relationships is what got me to stick. Mm -hmm. And I was there for about a year and a half. And the last semester of my um, my my years there, my, my last semester, I was about to graduate. Uh, my parents decided to break up, so that was just a huge life-changing um, yeah. experience. I went back home to, to help take care of the kids, and I never finished my last class that I needed for my um, business administration degree. And, and looking back at it, it was actually a blessing in disguise huh. because it, it came to where I'm at now in my second stint or third stint third? actually yeah. with in Ridley College, College yeah. yeah and it was because of the relationships that I that that I formed in that second stint that I was able to go back in the third stint, third stint and totally pick up where I left off and I mean even in the um, the welcome center we have our our the, la the lady that you know you call in and she says uh -huh. welcome to Ridley College her name is Rosa yeah. she remembered me from the second stint that I was there I and Rosa. totally <laughs> totally welcomed me back um, my one of my first days back on campus I ran into her and she was like Steven it's good to see you back here and I was like I didn't know anyone was gonna remember me but that, that was a great experience I have counselors now I had a counselor Juan Bedoya that he's now moved from the the stem counselor into a dean position and 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 getting to know some of those people and and forming those relationships has been why I've, I've actually stuck around um, you know my the student the student government advisor is still there Dan Kilbert so he definitely remembered me Liz DeFore was our, our secretary there and she's still the secretary there she's been there forever I walked into student activities one of the first days and I said Liz I'm back and she said oh brother you know so it, here it goes again um, so now how close yeah. are you to your uh, degrees so in the in the spring I will be graduating with three associate degrees for transfer um, one in kinesiology one in communications and then one in business administration which would have been at what I would have finished that second stint um, but I, I went through and over the last uh, year and a half I, I got the other two um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm actually going to be taking a couple more classes again next year. Uh, I do, right now I'm part of the Student Senate um, for California Community Colleges, SSCCC, and I, I'm looking into actually running to be the president of that organization um, to affect change. Because I really, uh, I mean, for, forgive the phrase, but I feel like a lot of people, they end up being farts. And what I mean by that is you come in, you make a stink, and then you're gone. And I really want to, you know, make a carbon footprint. I want to say, I want to affect some change where students after me will be like, you know, we we are able to do this because mm -hmm. someone actually took the time to to, you know, evolve this into not just an idea, but actually get the groundwork broken. And and now we're able to do this. So now you're gonna have that. a degree in kinesiology. Yes. And that could lead to uh, getting a teaching credential, all different exactly. kinds of things. Your business degree could help you in, in terms of you decide to run a business like you've exactly. been involved in. And your communication degree uh, is probably why you're the, the uh, student trustee and representing yeah. all the students in California. Now, yeah. tell me about, yeah, I think you mentioned to me before, about your uh, uh, next phase that you're thinking about and maybe your next degree in maybe politics. Yeah, so uh, like I said, the Student Senate is what's really kind of pushed me in that direction. I've, I've been speaking um, with different assemblymen and congressmen, and I, I love to speak. I love to be in front of a stage and, and just give a presentation or just speak on what I'm passionate about. And uh, joining student government kind of, you know, put me baby steps in, in that uh -huh. direction. Um, I, I do teach right now the kinesiology degree. I'm a PE t um, technician over uh -huh. in a school district. So I've always been in front of a classroom, in front of a group of people. And with the Student Senate, I've actually, um, I have to chair my meetings. And I wanted to see this year, I wanted something different. How can I get reach more students and get them more involved? Well, I started inviting congressmen and, and assembly members. So at our last meeting, we had it at Madera Community College. I uh -huh. extended an invitation to Congressman Jim Costa, and he showed up. Yeah. And I was just like, 
what you know like a congressman like he, he's here he's in our, our meeting and uh, after talking to him I was just like you know what I, I think that I, I'm kind of fit for this role I love doing this and I love being in front of the mic and I love being passionate about something and affecting change um, I, I spoke with Senator Melissa Hurtado um, the other day from she's actually from the Sanger area and she right. runs the you know the, the the district here I think it's the six, 16th district um, but yeah, I was talking with her and some of her her chief of staff and stuff like that, and I was I was like, I, I really want to get involved. So I have, she's actually um, tentatively going to be attending our April meeting in Lemoore. Um, I have Assembly Member Devin Nunez coming out to our meeting in February over in Visalia. So I'm, I'm just hoping that I'm greasing some wheels and uh-huh. and gonna sooner or later be in in front of the the mic and and running a district one day and and into the future who knows who knows what uh, god has in store well, for me well that's right <laughs> divine providence has gotten you here now yeah. i also want you know i planted i told you that uh, we want you to consider uh, coming back and oh, yeah. teaching at really that so i know politics is uh, something that maybe you're being directed towards yes. but but teaching it really is not a bad gig. Either. It's not. I've actually <laughs> spoken with Dr. Buckley. I said, you know what? When my stents are done here, you probably will be seeing me again. And hopefully it will be because I need to come back and get a job. And I, I want to be affecting change on a different level. Yeah. You know, I've, I've been through the student aspect, but I know I can affect some more change. And it doesn't, it doesn't stop. You know, the advocacy does not stop. Well, Stephen, thank you for telling your story. I well, appreciate you. you sharing that. It has been a... Uh, pleasure for me to have you as uh, the first podcast uh, guest that we have in the Chancellor's uh, Corner here. Um, uh, Stay right here. I want to just talk a little bit about some things that are happening. In January, we are excited because uh, our voters passed Measure C. Yeah. $485 million bond, and we had $30 million from Measure E, and we put those together. We have, uh, right now, we have 12 projects, 12 architects. One of those projects is our that we're going to have our grand um, uh, our ribbon uh, cutting mm-hmm. is going to be up in Madeira and it's for the uh, Center for Agriculture Technology and uh, that'll be on uh, January 9th mm-hmm. at 3 in the afternoon. Now, out at Reedley, you and I were just talking, we've yes. got some projects. We have a there new Center for Fine work. and Performing <laughs> Arts. Uh, up at Madeira, we're going to have a new academic village. It'll mm-hmm. be about a $30 million project. At um, We've just done... Uh, accepted a bid for $15.1 million for a new math science building out of yeah. Ridley. And we're going to be um, approving, in uh, tomorrow's board meeting, we'll be approving uh, the uh, Child Development Center uh, project for both uh, Ridley and Fresno City. Which has been in the works for a while. Yes. So things are happening at Ridley, and, yes. uh, and uh, you can uh, you know, uh, feel proud that you've been a part of that and helping us move in that direction. Some of the other projects out at Clovis, uh, we're going to have a new career technology center and combining our bond money with state bond money that's going to be a 50 million dollar project yeah. that's <clears> wonderful <throat> we're going to uh, have a, a new uh, we've purchased 30 acres of land up in oakhurst and we'll have a, a new college um, center up there yeah and then fresno city has several projects not the least of which is uh, is our west fresno campus first major education facility to complement Gaston Middle School and the elementary schools over there and uh, Edison High School and now there's going to be a college center uh, 40 acres in the middle of West Fresno which uh, is going to hopefully put West Fresno uh, equitably involved in in all the um, activities of the community and and we're going to raise the education levels and we're going to improve the health in uh, for our West Fresno residents. That's awesome. Uh, we're also going to be doing a first responders academy for yeah. police and fire which will mm-hmm. be closer down to Reedley mm-hmm. uh, and that's 40 acres and uh, that'll be our police and fire academies and uh, emergency medical technicians and then we'll build a new science building, renovate the old math building yeah. at uh, Fresno City and mm-hmm. build a um, on the uh, board agenda for the coming uh, tomorrow we'll be recommending that we approve a a $20 million uh, parking structure, parking structure for yeah. about 860 more parking places, which is desperately needed. Yeah, I tried Fresno going City. to Fresno City for a semester, and parking was a huge dilemma. So, so that's some, that's a need that we were definitely meeting for those absolutely. students. Absolutely. So now uh, we are, um, uh, we're also here in our downtown office, which has helped us achieve all that, because by moving 
our um, district office down here. Mm -hmm. That's freed that space up, saved on some parking, and um, it's a pleasure to have you downtown too. Yeah. And now you have a badge and you can get into the building here. So yeah. we appreciate that. Now. <laughs> so um, I'd like to thank you for joining us again, Stephen, and for serving as our student trustee. It's been a pleasure. Thank working you. with you this year. Uh, if anyone wants to find out any more about State Center, please visit us at our website, which is www.sccd.edu. And uh, I want to thank uh, Lucy Reese, who has uh, set this podcast up and uh, and uh, helped us uh, direct it. So she's our director, but she's also the she's also our executive director for public legislative affairs. And so, uh, Lucy, we appreciate that. And our technician, our IT media guru, uh, Phil Howard, we want to thank you for this first podcast for State Center Community College District. Thank you. <laughs>